Hi everybody, uh, Francine here at Devoted Danes and today we are introducing our little six pack into um, kibbles. They are three weeks old, um, Thursday they were, so they are getting teeth and mom is still feeding them but um, not she's not staying in as much with them so I think it's time to introduce kibbles and so today that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get these little turkeys gonna get these little babies some real food right now they're just kind of snoozing um, I do put mom outside when I'm feeding them um, is that that's yep that's Teddy in the middle he's awake there is Caliber and Lusik, probably got his name right, is right here and they're all awake so they hear me and it's warm so they're kind of snoozy but we're going to get them their food and I have their little food pan set up here for them so uh, let's give it, a, give it a whirl, see how it goes. Who wants to go first? This is um so first up is pink colored girl she said wait a minute she's licking the rim lucic he's a red collar oh my goodness they're all sniffing for it as you can see come on bubba this is caliber come here bubba Sometimes you have to dip their little nose. Could be a big fella. Here's Teddy. Join the party, Teddy. Oh, he said, where is it? Where is it? Look at him go. Oh my gosh. So I guess he's just there, ready? Here's our little purple collared girl. I put a lot of uh, formula in that. And our little blue boy, our, our little purple collared boy. And I'm basically didn't even have to pop anybody's nose into it like I usually do. Look at them go. So they're, oh my gosh. Come here, sweetheart. Little eaty beady over here. She said they're hogging it. Go ahead, sweetheart. Get inside. There you go. So that has their mom's kibbles in it. Um, I soaked it today. And um, that's what they're eating. Let's see if I can get everybody in it. Okay, Teddy, you can't have your whole body in it, sweet boy. So I kind of figured they were ready for mush. They, their teeth have been coming through. They're doing great, they love it. Look at them go, all you can hear. And I put um, two cups of formula in it for them. And our formula consists of goat's milk, um, yogurt, warm water, um, a dab of caramel syrup. Look at them go. Oh, their little bellies are full. <laughs> They're all good size. Our little smallest one is our little purple mantle girl. She's over here. They keep pushing her out, her brothers, but. So this is the blue, this is the diamond natural that they're eating. They're not eating, um, the four health. Their mother's still on four health just because I didn't want to change her. But oh my god. Here you go, baby. So um this is about two cups of puppy food also. Let's take a better look. So this is two cups of puppy food in here. And it actually broke down nice and mushy for them. So they they're really loving it. So this is Teddy. I know the lighting is hard to tell between the pink and orange. I didn't really realize. And these little babies are ready for their big kid collars too. So every collar that we buy has a small and a large uh, colored one. And I'm going to switch out the smalls for their large because they're starting to get big. They will. So they are three weeks old. Look at the spots on this baby boy. Honey, it's in the bowl right there. Oh, no. Um, Lusik is over there uh, looking off this. So I always put down a clean, uh, clean 
um, blanket for them to have it on. So, you know, if they lick off the blanket, they're fine. Where are you going, sweet boy? Come here. Easy cute. Okay, so I'm having some breath and dinner. So it's, yeah. Oh, her little belly's full too. So they are enjoying it. They are a cute bunch. What are you doing, little lady? Um, sometimes when I have big litters, I'll use two of these saucer pans, but the thing with even using two, they'll always go to one, eat it, and then all go to the second one. So even if I put two down, they're pretty much going to want what they, everybody else has. So, but they're all pretty got big bellies. Look at her belly. <laughs> Look at that belly, little lady. She said, that's good stuff. So, and I have clipped their nails, and they are using their potty area pretty good, which we've done it so many, so much through the years. We know it works. So, uh, here I am. Oops, anyway. So, we've used... Um, this potty method for years and we know it works it actually does they're like little sponges mom will stop cleaning up behind them because once they have solid food they're obviously going to have real poop so right now mom cleans up behind them but she will stop i'm sure um so they will be four weeks this thursday they will be dewormed again they're already dewormed once and we'll do it two four uh six and eight weeks Sometimes we skip the two-week mark depending on how small the puppies are. If they're really small, it gets me nervous. I don't, but I deworm these guys because they're pretty good size. They're all um, pretty good size. Oh, are you going potty? I thought either that or he's making noise. So, here they are. Eating like little villains. So... I won't leave the rest of this in here for mom because she's not currently on this dog food. She's still on the four health. I didn't switch her over, but these calibers, somebody's tooting. Pink collar girl. Oh, they're, you gotta go potty caliber. Oh, Lucis. Lucic is go potty. Here again. So he's gotta go potty. I could hear him tooting and I just put him in the wood shaving so he knows he has to go potty in here. He said, I don't know, lady. Let's see if we can see him using his potty area. There he is. So they have been using it. As you can see, it's more scattered than last week. Um, I always change their bedding every day because they still do have pee-pee accidents. But Lucic is, that's him. Get ready, go potty. Um... And these are just the fine pine wood shavings that we get at Tractor Supply. This is the same spot we get their food. So this is how we like potty trained. Once we see them have to go, we just put them in the shavings and um, they'll eventually get it. So what I also do is if I see them starting to roam around away from the food, I usually uh, realize that they've got to go. So I'll just, like she is, I'll just kind of put her in here I gotta go over here buddy yeah this is where we go potty so I'll just keep you know putting them putting them over putting them over and you know like anything the more you do um, she's actually going the more consistent you are with putting them over the more they'll they'll realize oh this is we go potty over here and they'll smell their scent as you can see some of them have been um, there's a little pee right there from somebody. Um, oh, actually, somebody, yeah, she, did he pee or one of them peed right here? I think it was her. She still hasn't had, doesn't have a name yet. He, he said, I'm going over here. So I'm just going to watch him to make sure he's not doing poops, which I think he's trying to. <laughs> Got to do poops over here. Oh, I can hear you poop, trying to poop. There he goes. Good boy. Yeah, he's pooping in the in the shavings. And um, once they're on solid food, they'll have more solid poop too. 
Um, it kind of fluctuates when they're younger of what mom's eating, to be honest. But um, calipers hunting now, so I'll just pick him up. And I'll pop him. After they eat, too, I just kind of pop them over into the wood shavings just so they know. And now that they're eating, they'll get a gist of it. So, like, we have other little... Listen to vocalness. And it's just the routine. His little feet are all booed. That's Teddy. Just getting him used to going over there to go potty. Here comes Caliber. The only one still, yeah, he's going pee. He said, I'm doing it, folks. There he is. Lucic just did. And we'll see what Teddy's going to do. But the only one still eating is a green collared boy. Let me move that for you, buddy. Uh, this is pink collared girl. She's still looking for a home. We have two. Oh, you're fine. He said, Am I supposed to go? over here so I'm um, <laughs> that's him being vocal and he is still eating <laughs> so I'm going to uh, get individual pictures hopefully this weekend and new weights they're playing I have toys too to put down for them but I wasn't sure if they were ready for it so I'm watching Teddy, he's roaming like he's hunting. Are you gonna go poop, little man? He said, no, don't do it to me, lady. <laughs> I know, this is where we go poop, over there, folks. <laughs> and they'll also play in that. So, the more, oh, there we go. Is he going poopy again? No. So, the more they um, get older the more that the wood shavings will come in. I have a little board that goes away to try to keep the shavings off their bedding. It is a, a mess. It gets to be a pretty messy. We'll have wood shavings throughout the house. That's Teddy going to check things out. Yep. He's going potty. He's going poop on his own. Good boy, Teddy. I'm curious on how much Teddy's gained this week. And they will gain more um, with mom not wanting to be bit you know from their teeth she comes in and stays less time with them but she does come in and feed sometimes they'll wake me up because they're actually um having a fit looking for their mama so those two pooped over there we had these guys pee i don't think pink girl has yet and once i go over there hi teddy yeah i, I know you feel better and this little devil he said i'm eating that's a green collared little black boy isn't he cunning? He's still eating. There's always one in a crowd that loves to eat. So this is their first feeding. I'm not going to stop mom from feeding him. I'm just going to supplement with this. So this will tide these little babies over um, longer. And I, so they'll be able to go like, stop licking my leg, Teddy. He's so funny. You guys ready for toys? I don't know if you guys can see him. <laughs> Are you done, handsome? He said, oh, no, that was the best, best food I ever had. Oh, my goodness, sweet boy, you had a lot. We're going to put you in here with the potty. Oh, there you go. We got a WC, WWE match going on here. <laughs> They're so cute. They're a lot of fun. Puppies are always fun, and the more they... oh. Green colored boy, he's overtaking a pee. He said, I know what I'm doing, lady. Don't you worry about me. Don't you worry about me. So they are just bebopping, playing, doing their thing. I am going to change their collars out while I'm here. Because some of these little devils have gotten chubby. Yeah, all of you actually. So, let me see. Uh, hi puppies. So here's their other set of collars. So I just, 
Here's a, a Lucic, Lucic Luch to be exact. Is his dirty little collar. So he gets his big boy collar, and I actually go with the para paracords. I think they call these um, because they're easier to adjust. Um, and I just pop them in the wash like these. The ones that I'm taking off these guys, I'll just pop in the wash and they'll be ready for if I want to use these colors on a next litter. So, but the, it's just getting them worked, like getting them, um, moving, you know, once you get it loosened up, they kind of slide easy. But the first, after they've been through the wash, like the initial slide is hard. Aren't you looking like a tired boy, Mr. Teddy boy? Aren't you looking tired? <laughs> oh, here we go. So it's just kind of getting it loosed for this little goose. Loosey goose. Oh, he said, don't you do it to me, lady. Don't you do it to me. So, got his collar on. There's this dirty one. Here's calipers. And so I got to really tighten them to the tightest to get them out. Oh my god, he's having a fit. It's all oh, hey, hey. I'm right here, honey boy. Oh, sometimes I'll have a fit like he's doing right now. It's just a collar. Oh, you can't take me alive, lady. You're fine. <laughs> Isn't that funny how they try to... So his is loosening up pretty easy. Here's your new one. Oh, I know. Oh, Missy. Pissy boy. Oh, aren't you a little terror? You want yours? Who are you? Oh, you're the big guy. Oh, oh hopefully I can get... Sometimes they grow so fast, it's hard to get their collars off, and I actually have to cut them off. But if I can kind of wiggle them over one ear <laughs> and work it off, I can. Like, he's a big guy. He grew pretty fast. I probably should have changed his collar out already. Here's his new one. And it's too big, so we're gonna just tighten it. Ugh. And I'm dying up here because it's a humid day. Come here, sweet boy. I didn't get to tighten yours. I can't have it too loose because then they'll, you know, get it caught on something or whatnot. Ugh, there we go. Come on, buddy. Okay, Teddy boy. I think that's good. He's all set. He said, I'm all set, folks, and I'm tired. Can I have a smooch? You awful cute puppy. <laughs> oh, we're tired. We don't want to be bothered with you, lady. We don't want to be bothered with you, lady. Come here, little boy. Green collared boy. Yeah, I guess I should have pulled these off last week because they're all kind of tight. Sorry, buddies. And you can tell the difference because green collared boy is super laid back and his is tight, too. <laughs> He said, oh, no, lady. He didn't put up a fuss like somebody. Yeah, your brother did. So I'm just tight, getting it worked so I can put it on his little head. <laughs> There's him. Green collared boy. What are you having a fit for? You were kind of mean to me when I did yours. You were a little mean boy when I did yours. Killer. Yeah, you're going with a bunch of brothers, so you better realize what your pecking order is, kid. So, um, Caliper is actually going with a family that already has a couple of our Danes. She has a Dane addiction like I do, I believe. <laughs> okay, little pink, pink thing. Oh my God, somebody ate a lot. Who got a Debbie? That was you, sweet girl. Hers is also... Usually I change them out by uh, about three weeks, but these guys are normally, they're bigger than a normal three-week-old puppy. There she is, pink-colored girl, our available girl. Look at that belly. She's so sweet. She's good. And little Missy Poo, purple color, is left. And she's already snoozing because their bellies are full. Look at you, handsome fella. Hi. All right, here she goes. This is the only mantle of the litter. 
and she's the smallest. Her mom was the smallest too, isn't that funny? Francesca, when she was, uh, she was the only uh, mantle in the litter too. So here's her. All better, all beautiful. You are cute. Oh, you're gonna give kisses? Well, thank you so much. All right, so everybody's tired. <laughs> <gasps> oh, oh, Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Look at his little lazy. He's got like a little lazy look. He said, I'm tired, lady. This is Teddy. Uh, Lusik is already sleeping. Most of them are. As soon as I changed... As soon as I changed out their collars, they went in the corner and went to sleep. They don't want nothing to do with me. I gave them food. He, look, he's half asleep, standing up. Oh, do you face a mother good love? But they did awesome. I'm sure mom will come in and lick up their faces. Hi, beautiful. Hi, beautiful girl. So only two girls. She's one of them. And the little mantle's the other one. So all these little sticky collars <laughs> will go in the washer. I just put a clip around them and throw them in the washer. What do you think, Teddy? Oh, he said, don't even bother me, lady. So these guys are good, aren't ya, handsome fella? Okay, that's it for them. It's kind of been a busy week for us. Um, starting off Monday, um, we had a vet appointment. We had um, a meet and greet for Nala. We had a couple of those. Um, we had some um appointments ourselves um but in my last video i wrote that uh violet was coming into heat so it's been such a busy week we wanted to take our pedestrian machine out and test her to see what her numbers were just to be sure of when we should put um uh, grizzly with violet because we are breeding violet this time for anybody that's I'm actually in the bathroom because this is normally in the whelping room but Cheska's in there with her babies this is our um, uh, pedestrian machine the fine care pedestrian machine this is where the test goes in this is actually the last test we did um, of course our little crazy kitten that we have is here too um, have to take blood from the mother and we do and then we have to um, spin it in our spinner. We have our spinner here. Um, there's a professional name for this, but God help me, I can't think of it right now. I'm awful with names and things like that. You guys know. Um, so we started testing her. We didn't really have a chance to test her till Friday. Uh, she's really not going to probably even be ready. Like, cause how we, um, how we keep track of it is once they start actually bleeding on their heat, we consider that day one. So last Friday was day one. This first time we saw signs of blood from her heat. She, they do swell up before they start. Sometimes it's different a little bit. That's Eva having a fit. Um, she hears me. So we didn't really get a chance until Friday to check her, um, her pedestrian level and um, I was like, oh, she probably won't be ready, but we should start tracking it because normally a lot of our dogs will be bred on like, usually start at day 11, 12, sometimes 13, 14, depending when they ovulate. If you don't have a machine for pedestrian or you don't bring them into the vet for the pedestrian, you won't know what her ovulation level, it, um, her pedestrian level is and you won't know if she actually ovulated. They have to ovulate to get pregnant so we did the test um we're busy of course okay so now that it took me 10 years to focus my camera it has so many settings i accidentally hit the settings sometimes and i can't figure out what i did wrong so this is what um it will print out it's a serum plasma test and her numbers are these 18 point, I should probably just leave it on my leg so it actually stops moving. So her level is 18.54.
So if anybody is not familiar with this, it comes with a graph of when you're supposed to breed um, your Danes. You see that she is already in the fertile zone. So between 10 and 15, that means your eggs are mature. Um, first, it starts for ovulating. So if she's between a 6 and a 10, she's ovulated. If it's between a 10 and a 15, her eggs are mature. So they ovulate, the eggs have to mature. And then the next one is 15 to 30. That means she's fertile. That's her range. She's ready to go. So her first testing, again, was at 18.54. So she's already ready to be bred. I'm like, oh, good gracious. Um, and once it, the numbers start to go up, they go up fast. They spike. So I'm like, we weren't prepared for breeding that day, but we got things done. Um, she has been bred. Um, this is the second breeding today that she's had um, with Grizzly. This is her first, um, <clears throat> her first breeding. I think it's like her fourth heat. She's had a lot of heats, but so it's new to her. She gets nervous. Um, he actually has a proven stud, so he knows what to do. But if all goes well, we will probably find out in 30 days if we're having puppies with those two. Um, I'm watching the cat over here chewing my plant. This is why we away. We hopefully will have uh, be able to see puppies in our ultrasound in about 30 days. So um, I may do another, so I've bred twice. I may do another um, pedestrian test just to make sure that she ovulates and go up. Um, if you ever go to your vet to do it, they usually have you bring them back just to be sure that numbers are going up. But I was surprised because she's only day seven. This is why a lot of times you'll miss the heats or the breedings because if you customarily go say we start like day 11 we would already miss her heat she would, she wouldn't be fertile by that point if she's on day seven or eight so um that's why i love having this machine it is expensive but to me it's worth it because i know exactly um like we did francesca's because grizzly really didn't seem like he was interested for a long time but this said she was ready and she ended up having them. They ended up breeding and she had them. So she had six puppies. Um, so we'll, we'll keep you guys informed and let you know how that's going with uh, Miss Violet. I'm excited. Um, we had some people come. I did mention this week that we had some people come and um, do meet and greets with Nala. We had a lot of people like really <clears throat> wanting her and a great reach out, reaching out to us. And I thank everybody. There was a lot of good homes. But um, when we did some meet and greet, some of them didn't work out for one reason or another. But we actually did find her a home. Um, I'm happy to say that she's going to be living local. Um, within we live in New Hampshire, so she's within an hour drive of us will be um, She does have her spray to get done first and the family knows that they're willing to wait But um, this family also has one of our Danes most of the ones that we placed are somebody that Either has one of our Danes or knows somebody that has one of our Danes um, but she's actually going with one of her grandsons, so um, one of Francesca's puppies from the first litter. So I'm pretty happy. We met up. They hit it off great. We had some other families interested, but I kind of had that feeling like this, this is the one, you know, so we did. So we're pretty happy about that. Um, that's why this week's been kind of busy and chaotic just with having our six puppies, having our breeding, having vet appointments, um, just doing all that kind of and we had a birthday party for one of our granddaughters. So it's been a busy week. But it's been a good week. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And don't forget to subscribe if you don't already. Thank you. Hi, boy. I got Benson and Violet. Violet and Benson. Are in heat, but Benson's too little. That's not nice, Benson. Jumping on your mother. There goes Big Violet. Hmm, what's mom been doing out here? She's a pretty girl. Her is. 
Come on out too, Bence. You're a pretty girl too. Yeah, pretty, pretty annoying. <laughs> Just get in. Just get in, Bence. Ever, lady. <clears throat> so Benson's birthday is in April, but they normally go through a bunch of heats before we breed them anyway. Beautiful girl. Yes, you is. Sniffing mama up. Yeah, mama was with the puppies. Mama was with the puppies. Yeah, ah, you smell the puppies. Had to do picture day today. And they were awful puppies. Yeah, they didn't sit still. Only one of them is photogenic, we've realized. Who's that? Do you hear that? Who says that? Is it your daddy? Yeah, she wags her tail. Um, Benson, no jumping. You monsters. Monsters, huh? He says, I'm a jumper. I'm a jumper. All right, girls. Having a little drink. So this is the the room that they have. Um, look at her put her big nose in there. So if they want to come in and have shade, they have this room. It's attached to their area right now. Oh, that's loud.